And uh, I don't know if you guys know this about Charlie, uh, in addition to being a uh, comedian and uh, just an awesome guy, he's also a, a witch. I am a witch, uh, specifically a Wiccan. So welcome to uh, a Wiccan talks about chicken. <laughs> Um, by the way, how's New Haven? It's a beautiful place. I uh, I put a curse on a guy in January there. Um, really liked it. So, anyways, I'll give you a little a little about my people up top. Uh, Wiccans, as you may or may not know, are pantheistic, uh, which, as you know, means we believe that all chickens should be cooked in a pan. Uh, the Wicca religion, like my childhood, has no central authority figure. <laughs> Uh, we believe in two gods. Uh, we originally had one, but then an outside consultant added a second. Uh, so our first <laughs> god actually invented orange chicken. Um, oh. I don't know if you knew that. The second invented insider trading. Trivia <laughs> for you. Uh, many Wiccans uh, believe in reincarnation. I believe that chickens used for orange chicken come back as managers at Panda Express. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Um, here's something for you to know for orange chicken. It goes great with any of our three solstices, summer solstice, winter solstice, and cocaine solstice. Oh, that sounds fun. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Wiccans do like magic and we like rituals. Do you mind if I do a little a ritual for you guys for the orange think, chicken? I think, I think everybody would love that. Okay. Chiconius Orange Julius. Bonelessius O.J. Pulpius, Dan Altanius Refrigeratist. <laughs> uh, so, okay, now your ch orange chicken will keep in the fridge an extra 17 months. So Ooh, just remember. That's lovely. Yeah. Uh, Wiccans do sacrifice chickens occasionally. Um, when in-laws visit, Wiccans will sacrifice their portion of chicken. <laughs> which leads to resentment of the in-laws and an inevitable fight with their spouses, followed by a speedy divorce and loss of custody of their child. E every single time. Um, just want to quickly say, I miss you, Jeffrey. I hope I get reincarnated as your dad. <laughs> um, before I go, a quick plug for my dad's podcast for you to all please check out. It's called A Jew Talks About Stew. It's available on Spotify and at Mordecai's Deli in Boca Raton. <laughs> Charlie, that's amazing. Uh, I've just, I've just seen all of your hat is my favorite thing. Thank you. Did you this. see the broom? Oh, the broom. I didn't, oh, I didn't see that at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very, uh, a traditional domesticated broom that you're, that you're using. Modern witchcraft, man. Modern witching. By the way, I loved you in Mortal Kombat. Uh, you're <laughs> awesome. Uh, Charlie Nadler, everybody. Charlie Nadler, you're the best.